I do have quite a bit of stuff in here, a wallet, lotion, deodorant, sunscreen, sanitizer, lip gloss, blotting pads, more lip gloss, my keys. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my fall handbags that I will absolutely be reaching for this season. So let's just get right into it. Now, the first bag is actually a newer one. It's on the packaging, I just received it. The reason why I already know I'm going to be wearing this is because it's black. <laughs> It is a black bag, but it's this like smooth black leather bag in this really nice like kind of triangle shape. Look at this bag, y'all. Look at this bag. Look at her. Now the reason why I got this bag is mainly because I wanted like a black bag that just was pretty plain and simple. I did feel like some of my other black bags were not as plain and simple. The hardware was pretty obvious on them, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all, but I did want something that just felt really like sleek and straight to the point. And I feel like this one does that for me. Now it does have silver hardware. I do like to match the hardware on my bag to the hardware that I'm wearing like on my body. So the days I'm wearing like silver jewelry, I have to kind of figure out another solution. If I have the opportunity to have something that already has a silver metal and silver hardware, and that's even better. This one is from a brand called Bob Ore. I love the slimness of it as well. I feel like it's given very 90s chic, very 90s glam. It fits right on the shoulder. I do love that it has like this amount of space for the shoulder as well. Just thinking about construction wise, this is a really well constructed bag and I am very excited to wear this one. And just sticking with the black bag theme, the next one we have is this one and this one is from JW Pay. And as you can see, this one has gold hardware. Also in this nice like black smooth leather. I love the construction of it. This is like a rectangular shape, but it's a little more geometrical. It just has like kind of like an imprint here, as you can see. And when you do hold it, it kind of does sag in the middle, which is a preference. I do like that it's a bit more, it's not as structured as the other bag, but it does have like a good amount of space in here. I actually have all my stuff in here right now. I do have quite a bit of stuff in here, a wallet, lotion, deodorant, sunscreen, sanitizer, lip gloss, blotting pads, more lip gloss, my keys. This bag fits a good amount of stuff. It is your traditional shoulder bag, so it does fit nicely and hugs right underneath your shoulder and your arm. This is also kind of giving me 90s glam, very 90s model off duty. My sister had this bag like a year-ish and a year and a half before I copped it from her and it's still in really good condition. I've already worn this so much since she's given it to me and it's just gonna be worn again and again and again. Next we have my Brandon Blackwood Jasmine bag. Ah. I love this bag so much. I've talked about this bag in other videos and it's in this nice like smooth oil leather. It does have like a good amount of shine to it and it has kind of like this crinkly sort of like oily leather situation going on. And of course this does also have gold hardware detailing and I love that it kind of just looks like a telephone case. It looks like one of those old school telephone cases and they did do like an advertisement where it, they basically played off of that which I thought was very good. I love when a brand knows how to do good advertising like mwah, beautiful but it has a B their like signature B kind of like clasp here, which they have on mostly all their bags. And it is a top handle. The handle is only on one side. And then it also does come with the crossbody. It has a good like long crossbody strap. I don't know what it is, but these work really well with like skirt type of outfits, mini skirts, maxi skirts, dresses even. She gets her moment fall winter for sure. Final black bag for this video is this one. And this is my little Bottega dupe. I think this is actually like a really quintessential kind of bag. I mean, I know everybody has it and I do not care. And the reason why I wanted to include this one because I know that I will be gravitating towards it and you're like girl you already featured three black bags why another black bag for a number of reasons this one is literally top handle only so I feel like this is one that's perfect for like a going out situation going out kind of vibe on top of that the leather is very matte like I have some boots that are kind of like this sort of matte ish leather even though this bag has gold hardware like it's right here you can't really see you can't really see that you can't really see that at all to me this is sort of just like a matte black bag like I mentioned with the first bag sometimes I just don't want to see any hardware like I just need like a kind of really straightforward black bag and the difference between that one and this one is that that one is a shoulder bag kind of like every day quickly put on this is not something that I will wear every day just because it's strictly a top handle like I can only hold it like this the structure of it the shape of it and the use of it it's just one of those bags that just works it works and that's why people have it that's why everybody got it now that we are done with our black bags, let's move into our colorful bags. Put that in big quotes, colorful. <laughs> Should be no surprise here, my Gucci horse bit. I love this bag. This bag always, always in the fall and winter gets worn down, okay? It's the chocolate brown of it all. The chocolate brown, 
obviously the monogram all over the bag i know some people don't like that i personally absolutely freaking love it this is such a good bag to me oh god and i'm never letting go of this bag because she's no longer being sold so i feel like i have like a little cute almost going to be vintage kind of piece in like the next like five or six years she'll be considered vintage. I freaking love it. It's kind of giving me like bowler bag vibes, which I do really like. It has a good amount of space in here. Good amount of space, good amount of space. And I featured this bag in many another videos, but you know, it's never too much to talk about her cause she's that good. She has the gold hardware, which I love. Obviously this horse bit situation and this horse bit action is my favorite. It also does come with the crossbody. Just prefer the top handle. I think the top handle really works. It's also a great pop of color. Like on the days that I'm wearing all black, and I really want something to sort of stand out against the all black, I pulled this one out. She works really well with my Gucci loafers, which I talked about in my fall essentials video. I love this bag so much. I mean, what more can I say? She will be worn so much this season, so, so much. Okay, now for real, for real, there is some color. There is some color. My Coach Soft Tabby. This is also another bag that is no longer being sold in this colorway, so I have to hold on to her. I actually really only bring her out literally in the fall and winter because this color is giving me fall winter. Like I'm looking at my viewfinder to make sure that the color is picking up and it is. This is the color. It's like this nice mulberry and this top part is this nice suede, which I love. And then the bottom is um, the leather and the back is also suede. So it goes from suede to suede here. And one thing I love about Coach is their hardware. This kind of antique gold hardware is one of my favorites and what has drawn me into their bags. The bag also has this kind of darker kind of plum color, which is also different from this color here. So there's like a tri monochrome action going on, but all the colors play really nicely against each other. This color is also the color of the handle. It's just one of those that I just find myself being like, this is too cute, it's too cute to give up. The inside also is nice, this nice suede. So I do appreciate that the inside is so soft to the touch. And then the other side of the inside is kind of like this canvas material. It does come with the crossbody strap because it's so flappy that I feel comfortable just like swinging it around me. It's really cute. Like she's a really cute bag. To be honest, I need to wear her more because there's no excuse for me to not be wearing her more than I should. <laughs> I actually did a whole um, Instagram video about this bag like two years ago. And that video went viral because of the sound attached to it. I'll play it here for y'all so y'all could see and see anytime i get in my head about spending money i always have to remember i am single and i have no kids who else am i gonna spend the money on the sound is just funny to me i mean it's my sound i created the sound <laughs> But yeah, she's a cute one. She's a cute one. There are some other coach bags that I'm definitely looking forward to adding to my collection. Okay, back to the neutrals. This one from Son Rev. This is their mini Fortuna because it basically can like compress into a fortune cookie looking bag. But I mainly wear the bag as is, as like a true shoulder bag. It's definitely one that works in the springs. To be honest, it works for every season now that I think about it. I've worn it spring, summer, fall, and winter, but again, one that I can find myself reaching towards in the fall. It does have gold hardware, but what I really love about it is the chain detail on this. Like the chain on this is really nice. It's strictly the color of the bag. There is no gold detailing on the chain at all whatsoever. I feel like it just adds like, you know, a little extra flair detail to make this bag pop a little more. The chain is detachable. I'm always gonna wear the chain with it because I that's just my style. I feel like it just, adds a little edge to somewhat of like a more daintier, kind of simpler sort of bag. And it does have a good amount of space in here. The shoulder strap is wide enough, fits snugly underneath the arm. I think that this works with like browns as well. When I'm wearing like a brown colored palette, even the greens and the deep greens, blues, this color works really well. Which is why I have so many bags that I will be gravitating towards, reaching for, because there's different color palettes that I like to wear in the fall season. And I wanna make sure that I got the bags to match. So yeah, this Son Rev one, she's cute. Next we have this one, my by far baby kush in gold. This bag is also no longer being sold. I love this bag so much. Now this is definitely more of like a statement bag, but I don't reserve this just like going out. This is a bag that I would wear casually, especially if I'm wearing like a simpler outfit and I have my gold jewelry and I want that gold to sort of stand out a little more. I'll bring out Miss Baby Kush to do the job. I love this shape. Again, it's kind of like this crescent shape and it has like this handle that's reminiscent of like the little Bottega dupe. And it also has a chain detail. There's a kind of similar theme being threaded throughout all these bags. Like you can kind of see my style when it comes to bags and what kind of bags I like, what kind of shapes I like, what style I like. Obviously it's all gold. Everything on this is gold. There is no other color on here but gold. And it has like a cute little dip here. I don't know. So it's just such a good bag. And then this bag, I actually just received it in the mail and it's from a black owned brand, Chloe Mod House. And as soon as I got it, I was like, yeah, I will be wearing this this season because I just mentioned that I've been loving silver. How beautiful is this bag? 
Let's see if I come back and focus, there I go. I already love this bag. Similar to the Gucci, it's sort of like this bowler, this bowler style. It does come with a crossbody strap, which I do appreciate, but I know I'm likely going to just be wearing it as a top handle, but the crossbody straps will go on each side, which is really nice. Really well structured bag. It has the feet on it, so it will stand up on its own. I absolutely love the shape on this, and it has like the brand name on the back, kind of just like etched into the bag, which I think is a really cute detail. I'm definitely more interested now in investing into my black owned you know, collections, black owned clothing, black owned bags, shoes, accessories, especially all these women owned brands that I have been loving. Kai Collective, Hanifa, Chloe Maud House, all these black owned brands have been making such beautiful, beautiful pieces. I'm so happy to have this. Thank you so much to Chloe Maud House for sending this to me. And I love that it says speak life. To know me is to know that one, I am a Christian. This speak life is definitely reminiscent of a Bible verse that talks about the uh, life and death being in the power of the tongue. What you speak over yourself is very important. Making sure to speak life unto your yourself speak life into others and it's a reminder for me as well very well done bag i mean i can go on and on about it but this is so cute i love it and there are some outfits i have that i just know a silver bag will hit and now to have a fully silver bag in this kind of like nice like pebbled leather she's kind of giving casual but she's also giving dressy depending on how i decide to style it and that rounds out this video we made it y'all, thank you so much for watching. If any of these bags grabbed your attention, please let me know down in the comments below which one caught your eye. I think the accessories are the best way to elevate and kind of round out your outfit. I do post more like my outfit of the day content over on Instagram and on TikTok. So if you wanna go ahead and follow me there, you will be able to see these bags in action. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this kind of content. And also if you've watched this video and other videos, I would love if you go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for always showing up and engaging with the videos I do post. As always, I will catch y'all in my next video. Until next time, bye.